Hey guys, my name is Ryan Central and we finally have the April patch. We'll be talking about what's in there. In the background, you're seeing some of the gameplay from the new Stronghold, so we'll talk about that a little later in the video. But first, I thought I'd talk about what's in there and then give my general impressions before we move on to too much. The Stronghold in the background is called The Sunken Cell, which is now available to all players who have completed the main story. But there's also quite a few quality of life changes, one of which I think has a really big impact and I'll be interested to see how it works in the future. The first one being added the ability to select contracts from the start of an expedition screen, rather than going to the individual contract boards in Fort Tarsis or in the launch bay. They also added the ability to launch a new mission from the end of expedition screen without having to return to Fort Tarsis or the launch bay. But finally, this is the big one, added the ability to access the forge during missions, strongholds and free play. You can now change your game without having to return to Fort Tarsis or the launch bay. Here's some of the gameplay in the background to be showing off how that exactly works and it's a pretty big change. You know, this is one of the changes that people wanted to see straight away and I'm glad that Bioware have decided to sort of go with what the community wanted and have been able to put it into the game relatively quickly for what they had, I guess, but there's still a lot in there that you would have liked to have seen there's nothing about loot in here for example but there are a few universal masterwork components that have been added the first is the extended sniper magazine which adds specialized storage for enhanced sniper rifles increases damage by 30 percent which all of the other ones do too but this one increases maximum magazine size of the sniper rifle by a large amount we then have rapid hollow points which adds specialized ammo storage for machine pistols and auto cannons increases damage like i said but also increases weak point damage of machine pistols and auto cannons. You then have extended special arms magazines, which adds specialized ammo storage for heavy pistols and grenade launchers. It increases damage by 30%, increases maximum magazine size of heavy pistols and grenade launchers by a large amount. So if you do run any of these weapons, you might want to try and get these as soon as possible. No sign of the new weapons that were data mined or anything like that, but I guess most importantly, all of that stuff on the 90 day roadmap isn't here stuff like the mastery system and all that the other thing that's realistically here is the new stronghold so by the way are behind on that but there is going to be a live stream today to talk about where the rest of the new stuff is i don't really care if it's delayed so long as they make it right but i'm honestly surprised that there's been no uh, quick fix changes to loot in here even if it's just up in the drop rate for now before they have a complete overhaul. Uh, I kind of guessed that Cataclysms would be pushed back. No doubt they're going to be coming at the start of July or any time in July, really. But yeah, these patch notes are good. There's some really good stuff in here, but I don't think it's enough to bring a good portion of the community back, in my opinion. The Stronghold, though, in the background is pretty good, but I'll go over that in a second. Some other key things to highlight is that they've added speech to text and text to speech on all platforms. So this to me suggests that they're gonna be added some form of text chat in the game, much like Apex Legends has a similar system in place. So with any luck, that's what they're aiming to do sometime soon. There's been a lot of general fixes in here, you know, cortex entries to explain combos, for example. And there've also been a lot of balance adjustments that I wanna highlight potentially another day or not at all like last time. Uh, but there's some pretty big bonuses in here, which I'm keen to try out myself. Uh, some of which have had their bonus damage increased uh, doubly, so from 200% to 400% for retaliation of Garatus. And every javelin has had some changes to some of their abilities. They've also fixed the damage of electric status effect when applied to creatures, so no doubt they've made that a little bit stronger. And there's also plenty of bug fixes in the game. But in terms of interesting stuff to talk about, it's just generic stuff that's really in the rest of these patch notes. But... But yeah, I'm surprised at how by way of being able to add some of the quality of life stuff that people have been asking. But I'm not surprised that stuff's been delayed, considering all of the stuff that we've heard about recently. So I'm a little bit disappointed to an extent, but this patch is pretty good. Now I really want to talk about the Stronghold. So the Sunken Cell, how is it? I enjoyed it. It's the sort of typical length of previous Strongholds. It has a lot of story elements, of course. You have Sev just over the voice sort of explaining the situation. Give it a bit of background on the Dominion and stuff like that. As there's a lot of stuff in Anthem, it's absolutely gorgeous and was a lot of fun to play, to be honest. Uh, we do have the final boss encounter, which I'm showing on screen, which as you've noticed, is a fury. I heard about this beforehand. It was data mined that the final boss in the game was going to be a massive fury. 
So there's a lot of concern of them just rehashing stuff, but there were some nice mechanics in this. The Stronghold was fairly straightforward, uh, but we were playing it on GM1, so I can show you a clear playthrough. There were also a few puzzles to sort of solve along the way, which felt like a nice addition, you know, even in pickup groups where you have no real communication, players managed to work their way around what the puzzles were. The first one, I'm not quite sure how it worked at this point. We kind of just uh, rushed through it and I didn't see the results on exactly what we should be doing. But overall, it's a nice addition and, you know, it didn't take long for people to play through it and play through it on harder difficulties. This was something that Ben Irving said to me personally, is that they can't keep making content faster than people can play them. Obviously, people are going to play it a lot tonight and check it out for themselves, but that's kind of the problem with adding new content at the moment. That's sort of the problem with this patch as a whole. There's some really good quality life stuff in there as well as new content, but the new content is going to get swallowed up because of the state of the game anyway with loot drops and the loot system and how the whole game works in that retrospect it's still going to leave a lot of players frustrated. So I do think just come and play the Stronghold a little bit if you haven't already, but I'm not writing off on from just yet, not like a lot of people, but I am genuinely interested to see the direction that they can take it. I don't want to be too negative in this video because honestly, if I'm just going to rag on and from then what's the point? I think it's a good patch, but just to be honest with people, there's no major fixes in here that are going to bring a lot of players back other than maybe checking out the new Stronghold, playing with some of the new balance changes, that kind of stuff. Finally, just some things to sort of add on to the end of this video, some of which I want to talk about in more detail at some other time. The first is some stuff that's already been datamined from this patch. Giovanna from Anthem Archive managed to spot a few things when looking through stuff. The first one being that the boss is a fury as we've spoken about previously, but also most importantly the Cataclysm is in there and it's codenamed Nexus Storm. We don't know anything about them just yet, but that's kind of what I wanted to talk about now. We know that EA isn't going to be at E3 this year, in fact it's setting up its own event EA Play the weekend beforehand. This is happening at the Hollywood Palladium and it's going to show off live streams of stuff like Sims, FIFA, all of the big EA announcements, and Anthem is going to be there. How do I know this? Well, I got invited along by EA Game Changers to go and attend the event, which I'm very excited for, but I honestly have no idea what's been shown there. All I know is that Anthem is going to have presence at EA Play to announce a few things, no doubt. And with any luck, we get our hands on them fairly early, so I am very excited. I'm also going to LA next week for the Borderlands 3 event, so be sure not to miss that. We're going to do a bit of a giveaway as well for Borderlands 3 to sort of celebrate the occasion. But yeah, that's the patch and the Sunken Stronghold as a whole. A few other things being data mined, such as the Cataclysm being in there. No doubt more information will arise as we go on. But if we have a few more things to add from news, we'll add them into the video later tonight after the dev live stream or basically tomorrow. Hopefully there's some more stuff to talk about. I kind of hate this period of talking about a patch and then nothing for two weeks. I'd like to have some content around this game, please. I'll let this gameplay finish up so you can see the boss battle and the mechanics there. And yeah, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon.
suppressor. Become a tire. Must be getting close to the surface. Well, increased shaper energy says that you're close to something. Wait, what exactly? Stronger the energy, the larger the abomination. Harkins got in the heart of rage. If this was his testing ground, anything is possible. Shows this underground construct. There it is again. Not sure I want to meet whatever that is. Hey, let's. of Harkin's wild experiments. Conduct his answer. Take out the gates. Quick, it's 
quick. 